Hello, 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 Pisces Aries. Welcome to your reading. So today we are going to take a look at your month of May, what you can expect um, in your career, in your love life. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, so you may want to check out your individual elements if this one doesn't resonate. And don't forget to check out the link below for a private reading um, in case you're interested in that, okay? There's also a link for a five-year journal if you want to connect with yourself a little bit more, okay? So... Let's see here. Let me just give this a little shuffle. All right. And let's pull some shells to get this party started. All right. Gorgeous. Ooh. Okay. So, um, this is very interesting. I kind of feel like there is... That is interesting. So I feel like there is this knowing that you are on the right path. I feel like you feel it, but I also feel like you doubt it a little bit. It's like on one second, you're really like connected with your intuition. You're like, oh my God, this is the thing. But then it's like, um, I don't ever feel like something needs to go wrong or something like that. It's just that I feel like you start, you know, the fear start to kick in and you start to think and that thinking kind of gets in the way and you start to doubt it. I feel like this could be especially about a relationship, um, but it obviously take it if it resonates has career. But I really feel like it's time for you to let loose. It's time for you to just go towards it, no inhibitions, okay, and just enjoy it, just really appreciate it. I really feel like there is this big connection um, with your intuition, please follow your intuition. And also, I feel like it is important for you to really like look around and be grateful for all that you already have, for the relationships, the friendships that you already have. If you're trying to manifest love, be grateful for the love of your parents, for the love of your friends, for the love of your pets. Be grateful for the love that you have around you already, okay? If you're trying to manifest um, abundance, be grateful for the abundance you already have, right? Be grateful for the one cent, even if it's just one, be grateful for that discount, okay? doesn't matter how small it is. doesn't matter if you just received five bucks from someone out of the blue. Five bucks, that's, that's more than enough, okay? That's a blessing. Be grateful for it, all right? Try to really look into, into the small things and be grateful for those things. And the same thing goes when you're dealing with a connection. Um, be grateful for any development that happens. Be grateful for anything that really shows up in your path because I really feel like you are on the right path. And all of those things are telling you that you're doing great. Okay, so please do not doubt it. Um, so we have over here, this beautiful Eight of Wands has the overall energy. So no more back and forth, no more hesitation, straightforward into it, okay? So let's get started with career and see here um, what do we have. Ooh, strong Libra energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, but you don't have to though. Um, but let's get started with career. So in the past, we have the Crow the goldfinch in your current situation. And for the month of May, we have the nine of wands. Um, I really feel that, you know, this goldfinch, it's very like full kind of energy. And so I really feel like you're getting into this point where you're taking a leap of faith. You're taking a leap of faith towards something that you were um, reflecting a lot on, you know? Um, and this whole conversation of like, you really feel like this is the right thing. This um, this bird even has like three eyes, so there's nothing of the intuition. It's like, this is the thing. I feel confident, this is what I'm gonna do. And I would even bet that whenever, when Mercury retro went retrograde, um, it's like all of the fears started to come forward and boom, nine of wands kind of showed up. And it's like, well, I was so confident I was going to do that and that was the right path. I'm not entirely sure anymore. Uh, and I do feel like it is that, uh, you know, Mercury retrograde kind of affecting even also the um, the eclipses. Those are also very strong and can some, sometimes kind of shake things and the energy is very chaotic and like what is happening here, but really connect with that intuition. So meditation could be quite important for you at this time. Um, but here, you know, with this crow, the crow is even like holding a compass. You were really like, that was the right direction that was the right decision okay so whatever you feel called to take a leap of faith towards please take it okay because you even have here like ladybirds those are a symbol of good luck and also a symbol of prosperity so please go for it all right let's see here 
Um, I don't even want to clarify too much, but let's see that nine of wands. What is happening in your month of May? So we have the two of swords. We have the queen of swords and the page of, uh, the, not the page, the knight of pentacles, which is the prince of pentacles in this deck. Um, and there we go with like swords, mind, thoughts, right? And the two of swords, it says peace. But in this case, it's like, where is the peace? Where is my peace of mind that this is the thing that I should be doing? Because I even feel like maybe you had this expectation or this hope that things would move really, really fast and that everything would happen in such a beautiful way and all of a sudden everything would be resolved. And then boom, Knight of Pentacles, the slowest Knight shows up. And it's like, it's frustrating. It is, it is, it causes a lot of I don't know, hesitation. And it's like, you're really trying to move things forward, but it doesn't seem to push. Maybe it's not necessarily about taking a leap of faith towards physical action and let's find results. Maybe it's about reassessing. Maybe it's about, about planning, right? Because this page of, um, here I am with a page of pentacles. This knight of pentacles, um, it's Virgo energy. So it's a lot about routines. It's a lot about planning. It's a lot about figuring out what the next step is before you actually take the next step, okay? Um, and I, I have been saying page of pentacles and that is all about learning. That is all about uh, new opportunities coming forward, successful um, and with a very good potential. Um, but it is about learning. So there could be something that you may need to learn. And honestly, I would even risk and say that it's something that you need to learn about yourself, okay? So it's like, um, maybe this whole period where things are a little bit chaotic, where things are a little bit unstable and you're not really sure where to go, maybe it's really beneficial for you, for you to understand, okay, when something like this happens, this is how I react. Do I like how I react? Is this something that I want to, is this the attitude? Is this the behavior that I want to have? Um, when something like this may happen in the future and how can I change it? How can I improve it? How can I improve my situation at this moment? right? So again, a lot about reassessment, a lot about reflection, okay? Um, so let's see here. So we have a couple of cards here that want to come up. All right, so yeah, find balance, okay? It's not necessarily about like going crazy. Uh, we even have this like wait for winter, not necessarily winter, um, well, I mean, it depends on where you're watching this. If winter is uh, coming up really soon, then yeah, it kind of actually matches up with that, you know, Mercury going direct and everything kind of smoothing over. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's that thing of like, find the balance, wait for winter. It's not really um, necessarily about just jumping boldly and quitting your job and everything. Maybe it's about just planning and figuring out, okay, I need to have this money saved up and I need to have this stability in this side hustle or you know whatever we're talking about uh we also have this inspiration we have shine from within so there is that thing of like you really figuring out what is happening inside those thoughts those beliefs those behaviors okay um the, your reactions to your circumstances and uh pure intention and fairy spotting i really feel like this this period of tension is really getting me back to this crow. It's like, you were making a good decision. Do not doubt it, okay? And I really feel that, you know, now it's not necessarily a time for manifestation, it's a time for believing. It's an, a time for um, pushing through, you know, and really focusing and persevering on your dreams, on your goals, okay? Because this fair spotting, the sentence that comes with it is, it's time to go fairy spotting. It's said that uh, seeing is believing, but the opposite, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. So there's that thing of like you needing to believe so you can see the results. It may be a little bit slow, but it's totally worth it, okay? Uh, now let's get into love. So I kind of feel like there is some sort of situation here that honestly, it kind of feels like a friend's going into lovers. Uh, in the past, we have the three cups, so it's the card of friendships, right? Uh, and I even feel like there were not, uh, there, there was, I feel like there, was, there wasn't there really a lot of interest. I would even say, like, especially from your side, because we do have this Queen of Swords on your side, so it's like not a lot of emotions, but I do feel like someone here has a crush on you, 
and someone really definitely likes you. Um, but I even feel like you may be like caught up on someone else, you know, three cups that is also about a third party. So maybe you were involved with someone else and you're still trying to overcome that situation. Um, cause right now with the two of swords, there's a little bit of confusion. There's a little bit of like, where do I go? What is happening here? You know, and this person is like set on you. This person knows what they want. Um, and with digital is here, I really feel like, you know, this is giving me this vibe of communication, also social media, but, um, it is giving me this vibe. Uh, so it may not actually be a friend. It may be like a social media friend. So someone that you, you like, you follow each other. Um, maybe you don't really connect too much with one another, but I feel like that is about to change and there could definitely be some communication coming forward here um and it's just like be open and see where it goes you know and i do feel you know this digitalis it is also about balance uh it's very like justice kind of energy and so it is important for you to not forget about yourself okay so uh it's like if this person does come through and things start to develop you know things start to grow Go with the flow, okay? Try not to invest too much all of a sudden. Um, but, you know, don't don't just brush it off, okay? Just see where it goes. So, let's, let's pull some cards here and see what this Two of Swords is about in this current situation. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Bro, you have some new love coming in. Um, we also have the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups. So, there it is. I really feel like you may still be caught up on someone. Let's clarify your side. Um... I really feel like you may still be caught up on someone or not necessarily on someone, but on a feeling of love. Yeah. Look at that. Three of swords and death. Um, it's like you, there may be a little bit of afraid, a little bit of a fear of, oh, but, her, but love is going to hurt, you know, and uh, I'm going to get disappointed in the end. And what if this person is actually your perfect match, queen and king of, of cups, right? What if this person is exactly who you've been uh, looking for? What if this person is exactly who you're waiting for, for, for so long, right? Um, and I definitely feel like you're trying to get into this place of happiness, you know, of self-sufficiency. And that is awesome. That is beautiful. Please keep doing that. And again, there's nothing in the balance. It's like, keep doing that, but don't just close your heart up. You know, there could be someone really beautiful out there for you. Um, and I feel like, you know, this person is already here and... I really feel like this could lead to something beautiful, okay? Um, for some, if you don't know this person, if they are not in your life whatsoever, they could be coming up in May, but I do feel like they're already connected with you. Ooh, we have a six of ones here. You could also be very focused on your career, um, but they could already be around you, but they are only coming up with communication now, okay? But let's see that ace of wands, try and get some more information around this person. Woo! Well, we have strong air energy here. Again, Libra, and then we have uh, Aquarius and Gemini. And we have Star and Lovers, and we have Nine of Pentacles. This person is very single, they are very hot. I also feel like they are um, like very loving. And th with the Star, that is wish fulfillment. Bro, this person is your wish fulfillment. This is everything you've been asking for, everything that you've always been praying for since you were like a little kid, okay? So um, there's a thing of like, you still be uh, being a little bit attached to some past hurt, to some disappointment, but what if this is different, right? What if this hurt was actually teaching you something for you to get ready for this person? So let's see here for the month of May with this digitalis, we have eight of cups, eight of pentacles, and nine of swords. There we go with the fears. Um, and also, Eight of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. This is giving me a little bit of career vibe. So if there is like, um, I don't know, like a business trip or something around those lines, maybe you'll just communicate with one another through career because you know maybe this person will be a client or you'll be a client to them. And it's just like go with that flow, okay? Because Eight of Cups, that is spiritual path. That is spiritual path, okay? So, um, and with this prudence, it's like you don't have to rush things you don't have to just jump into marriage all of a sudden but just go with the flow right oh and look at that we do have release your ex okay it's time to clear your energy it's time to like go with the past so let's see what we have here for you what is ooh showing up yeah separation you may actually be at a distance from this person 
So that's why there's that thing of like, there could be some sort of, again, you could meet through social media, that could be also it, um, but there could also be like some sort of business trip or something around those lines that um, connects you with one another. But we do have let your friends help you. So again, there's that thing of like friends to lovers. And also, I feel like this is going to be someone that you're going to connect with so much and it's going to feel so light, flirt, heart to heart conversations. And this could be the freaking one, okay? So I really feel like you're going to start, if you're not already, if you're not already connecting with this person, but there is this beautiful connection that is coming through. Communication is gonna start, it's gonna flow. Don't be afraid to flirt, okay? Um, I do feel like they are very flirty without lovers is giving me a lot of like, um, I don't know, like a lot of you're hot, right? But also a lot of, of very flirty and passionate energy. Um, but yeah, just allow yourself to be there. Allow yourself to have fun, okay? This is so light and so beautiful. Um, and it is safe, okay? It is safe. So let's pull here some final messages. Woo, those are too many. Uh, messages and advice from the universe. There we go with the gratitude. So be grateful. We also have, you can do it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Look at your shadow. Um, and there we go with the thing of like figuring, figuring out your mindsets and your behaviors, okay? Learn the lessons. We also have, I'm worth more. The right path is the one you choose to take and speak up. So the right path is the one you choose to take. Again, I feel like you've already chosen your path. Please keep on it, okay? Do not give up because that is really the right path. Um, and you can do it, okay? You have the strength to do it. But also with this, learn the lessons, look at your shadow, I'm worth more, love, that ex, that past energy, you were worth more than that, okay? And this new person is really coming forward with that energy, okay? So don't be afraid to be honest with yourself about how you can improve things and about how you're stopping yourself from love, how you're stopping yourself in career, um, and try to move forward, okay? And be gentle with yourself. Um, but I do feel like it's going to be a lot of mindsets and self-talk, you know, this 801 is about communication, so how you talk to yourself, how you treat yourself, that is going to be a big theme for you here in May. All right, so Pisces Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, hope it helped. Don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. And if it did, um, there is going to be a link down below for uh, a private reading, okay? And don't forget to check out that five-year journal. So this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, hope it helped. I wish you the best. I love you very much and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.